It's a whole new world. <laughs> and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben, and I'm Kay. And today we're talking about Disney Plus. It's finally here. We've been waiting so long for this. America and a few other regions have it already, but today it drops in the UK amongst other regions. And we're going to talk about Disney Plus. We're going to do something different, which we don't normally do. But because it's dropped in, there's a lot of content on Disney Plus, and you may be thinking, do I need to actually get this? I have so many streaming services already. It's a conversation that's been going on in my household and with my friends, and I made the mistake of asking that question recently, and my friends went, Bleh! Uh, here is everything that's coming to to you but there are some differences according to the regions that you're in so I thought of a go through every single title that Disney Plus have we're gonna go through it quickly it's not gonna be long it's just so you know what's there anything that stands out to us uh, we'll say yeah definitely check this one out so let's jump in it's a tongue-tied one so me to try it so we are looking at the Disney app on our mobile phone. It'll look slightly different on your desktop, but it's all scrolling. We're gonna go through each of the major headings, Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and National Geographic. So let's start with Disney. If you click on that little button there, Disney shows up, and the first thing they have on their list is the originals. First up is High School Musical, the series. So if you were a fan of the, the High School Musical movies, you'll now be able to watch the series. There's Lady and the Tramp, that's next along there in their originals. This one didn't go to the cinema, it went straight to their um, streaming service and I believe it's okay. It's not their best and it probably does a lot better on there. There's an original film, Stargirl, which I hear really great things about it. I can't wait to check it out. Diary of a Future President. There's a lot of Disney titles that go straight to their title, mm -hmm. that go straight to their streaming service. Togo is one you should definitely check out. It's mm -hmm. William Dafoe. Um, if you like films like White Fang, this is along that uh, lines. Uh, William Dafoe doing dog sledding and the story is really good. Um, check that out. I had a dog called Togo growing up. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, to me, failure mistakes were made. The Imagineering Story. Uh, these are some of their live action uh, stories and I think that looks pretty cool. You go into it, it, there it says, creating happiness takes a strong blend of imagination and engineering, known as Imagineering. Sounds pretty cool to me. Yeah. Next along we have Encore. If you like musicals, this is hosted by Kirsten Bell, who she reunites former high school com classmates to restage musicals they performed in the past. Cool. Yeah, that's a pretty cool one. And next is Short Circuit, Pick of the Litter, Insider, Shop Class, Fairy Tale Weddings, One Day. This one I've heard a bit about and I've heard is very interesting. Discover the fascinating and inspiring personal stories of 10 incredible people behind the enduring magic of Disney. Wow, cool. Family Sundays, One Day Shorts, and that is the end of the originals. Moving on to Walt Disney Studios films. Do you want to do this one? Yeah, okay. So these ones will be really familiar to you. You've got Frozen, The Lion King, The Jungle Book, Moana, Aladdin, the original one, <laughs> Cinderella, Tangled, Beauty and the Beast, Snow White, Big Hero 6, Zootopolis, Zootopolis, <laughs> Wreck It Ralph. The Little Mermaid, Lilo and Stitch. Oh, I miss Lilo and Stitch. We used to watch that all the time. Yeah, it was great. Sleeping Beauty, Bambi, Lady and the Tramp, Peter Pan, 101 Dalmatians, Pinocchio, Mulan, The Princess and the Frog, Fantasia, Alice in Wonderland, and Bolt. We've seen Bolt so many times. Next, additional animated movies. Planes, Fire and Rescue, Planes, another Planes, Nightmare Before Christmas, Mars Needs Moms, that was great, Secret mm. Wings, Tinkerbell, Pirate Fairy, Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, The Fox and the Hound 2, Tinkerbell and the Never Beast, Tinkerbell, Great Fairy Rescue, Mulan 2, Pocahontas 2, Lilo and Stitch 2, The Three Musketeers, The Heffalump Movie. Oh, oh yay! Yay, The Heffalump Movie. Lion King 1 and a half, whatever that means. <laughs> Brother Bear 2, Hunchbuck, Hunchbuck? Hunchback of the, Notre Dame. The Hunchback of Notre Dame 2. <laughs> Peter Pan Returns to Neverland. Piglet's Big Movie. <gasps> I remember that one too. 
Bambi 2, Tarzan 2, The Jungle Book 2, Kronk's New Groove. <gasps> Kronk's New Groove, excellent. Cool. Next one, live action. Live action movies. So these are the obviously the animated titles that they've then done for realsies. Kind of. <laughs> let's begin with The Lion King, which le let's not, because I mean, how is that live action? <laughs> Well, yeah. It's like, CGI meant to look like live action. <laughs> anywho. Anywho. Aladdin, Dumbo, Mary Poppins Returns, Christopher Robin, Stargirl, Beauty and the Beast, The Jungle Book, Tron, Maleficent, Timmy Timmy's Failure, failure. <clears throat> Timmy Failure, Lady and the Tramp, A Wrinkle in Time, Cinderella, Pirates of the Caribbean, Togo, Togo again. Pirates of the Caribbean, all of them. All the Pirates of the Caribbean. All of them. Alice. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Yeah, Through the Looking Glass. Oh, Through the Looking Glass. I can't find it. my glasses on. The Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger, The Nutcracker, Pete's Dragon, and Into the Woods. So as we go through their kind of sections, they're obviously doubling down where those certain films um, are represented in those titles as well, those different sections. Disney Channel series. Here we have... Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. This is actually on Netflix as well, so I guess they lost the license for that and this has come to Disney Plus. Then we have Jesse, Big Hero 6. Looking forward to watching that. Phineas and Ferb, I know a lot of people love that. Tangled series. Wow, what yeah. cool. That's going to be fun. Duck Tales. Woo uh, Milo Murphy's Law. Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Ch -ch 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 okay, I'll stop now. Uh, Gravity Falls. Yay! Gravity More Falls is great. <laughs> More DuckTales. Wizards of Waverly Place. I've actually seen a few of those episodes. Hannah Montana. Good Luck Charlie. Shake It Up. Live. Live and Maddie. Kim Possible. Austin and Ali. Casey Undercover. Girl Meets World. Ah, oh, Girl Meets World. The Sweet Life. Of Zach and on, Cody. No, The Sweet Life on Deck. Oh, I guess okay. They grew up bunked. Bizarre Devark. Wow. Cool. The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Raven's Home. That's so Raven. So a few of these titles you'll recognize. You'll be like, yeah, I need to watch those for nostalgia. Now we go to 90s throwbacks. Oh, 90s throwbacks. The Parent Trap. Newsies. Love Newsies. <laughs> the the Rocketeer. Rocketeer. Cool Runnings. Flubber, The Mighty Ducks, The Musk Three Musketeers, Muppet Muppet and Treasure, Island. Treasure Island, Mighty Joe Young, Goofy the Movie, <laughs> um, Honey, I Blew Up the Kids, Inspector Gadget, Blank Check, White Fang, Heavyweights, Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. Oh, Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. <laughs> I didn't know they made that one. There's three. Yeah. Goof Troop. Yep. Timon and, Pumbaa. Timon and Pumbaa, Doug's first movie, Quack Pack, Darkwing Duck. Gotta watch Darkwing Duck. Iron Will, Tall Tale, Gargoyles. Wait on Gargoyles. Like seriously, that is a golden find. If you don't know Gargoyles, if you love 90s, 80s cartoons from the originals, if this might have been one of the titles that you missed, I didn't even know they had three seasons. There's two that I knew of. There's a third one in here. Watch Gargoyles. You'll love it. Hocus Pocus. Disney Channel original movies. Descendants, Descendants 2, High School Musical, Kim Possible movie. That movie was awful. Zombies, Teen Beach movie, High School movie, Musical 2, Lemonade Mouth, Camp Rock, Camp Rock 2, Teen Beach 2, Wizards of Waverly Place, the movie, Let It Shine, Princess Protection program? Cool. <laughs> Geek Charming, Cloud Nine, Frenemies, Girl vs. Monster, Freaky Friday, Avalon High, The Sweet Life Movie, Adventures in Babysitting, How to Build a Better Boy, Invisible Sister, Bad Hair Day. Mickey Mouse Through the Years, Steamboat Willie. There's a whole bunch of Mickey Mouse. Uh, I'm not going to say every title because there's a lot. Yes. <laughs> and then there's Princess Fairy Tales, which they've doubled down on, so I don't need to say those titles again. And you can just scroll and see what they've got through there, like a princess. All the princesses. All the princesses. All of them. And Disney Junior series, which there's some stuff that I haven't seen. Sophia the Fish, Doc McStuffins, Puppy Dog Falls, Muppet Babies. Wow. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Uh -huh. But I think that's a new version. I remember that. Mickey Mouse Roadster Races, The Lion Guard. Maybe even heard of that one. 
Vampirina, PJ Mask. It looks like there's some really great stuff for the youngsters here. Yeah. Jake Neverland Pirates, Mini Bowtoons, Muppet Babies, Nursery Rhymes, Henry Huggle Monster, Sheriff Calls West Vampirina. Okay. Originals, these are the um, shorts from Pixar, which I'm guessing a lot of people haven't seen. And if you haven't seen these shorts and you've always thought, well, what is the point of them? Check one out and you'll understand. What is money is obviously Forky asked a question. If you know the character Forky from Toy Story 4, you'll understand how funny it's going to be. And so here we have these amazing shorts that you get from the Pixar uh, original titles. Lamp Life is one, Float, uh, almost made me cry, Kit Bull, Smash and Grab, and so you have those original shorts. And then we get into the Pixar movies. Right, so these are all really super familiar. There's Toy Story, I'm assuming all of them. Yep. The Incredibles, 1 and 2, Inside Out, Coco, Finding Dory, Monsters University, Toy Story, again, all of them, Cars and all of the Cars, <laughs> Finding Nemo, Monsters Inc. Up, The Incredibles, I think I said that already, Paulie, Brave, Ratatouille, A Bug's Life, The Good Dinosaur. And then we have more shorts, and you can go through them. Oh, some of those are so They're good. Incredible. Really, you should check them out. And they have different sections again, Cars, Unlikely Heroes, and Pixar Through the Years, which is very interesting to see how they've you know how they progressed in their animation yeah so let's move love on love the birds one yeah the birds is amazing let's move on to the next section right. marvel so i think they've got most of the mc universe but not all of them because they didn't get license for things like uh the incredible hulk so we start with the most recent the, um, avengers endgame captain marvel Ant-Man and the Wasp, Avengers Infinity War, Black Panther, Thor Ragnarok, Guardians Volume 2, Doctor Strange, Silver War, Captain America, Ant-Man, Avengers of Age of Ultron, Guardians the first one, Captain America the Winter Soldier, The Dark World, Thor, Iron Man 3, Avengers, Captain America, Thor, Iron Man 2, and Iron Man. That's the MCU. Now for the Fox integrated content that they have so far is X-Men, X-Men 2, X-Men The Last Stand, X-Men Wolverine, The Wolverine, Days of Future Past, and Fantastic Four, <laughs> Rise of the Silver Surfer. So that's actually the sequel. So I don't know why they have they don't have the original, but as you can see, there is some content that they don't have. Live action series and specials. So the Hero Project is stuff that they're doing with people and will be quite short. That's very interesting. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. They don't actually have the newest series, uh, Season 7 um, of that. Season 6, I think. I think they've got the first five. So if you go into it, you can see how they've got Season 1. And you just click that little drop-down box and then they have up to five. So they are missing it. I presume they're going to drop more, re more soon, hopefully. In Humans, that's probably one you haven't seen. I know a lot of people didn't get to see that because there wasn't much hype about, around it, but yet now you have it. Aging cards are runaways. Expanding the universe, assembling a universe, and Marvel 75 years. Then you have the animated series and specials. So you can see they have a cornucopia of animated content from Spider-Man to the Hulk to Fantastic Four. Uh, mini series. Um, which are also very cool from Spider-Man, Hulk, The Guardians, Groot. There's one there that I think stands out with uh, Rocket and Groot. If you like the Spider-Man, they have a Spider-Verse because there's so much Spider-Man content. You can just scroll through there and have a look. Loads of content. Origin Stories, again, they're doubling down but just giving you different headings to look through. And again, Marvel through the years. And heading to our next, the Star Wars universe. Right, so they have some Star Wars series, they have The Mandalorian. So with and... The Mandalorian, they're actually only dropping an episode at a time. They've dropped the first two, but you're not going to be able to binge lo the whole lot um, like you wanted to. It's probably they want to keep you on their platform, um, so they're releasing it week by week. So you don't just do that week of free. <laughs> you have to stay and give them some money so that you uh... can watch their flagship title, which The Mandalorian uh, obviously is. Clone Wars, Star Wars Rebels. Uh, um, going back to Clone Wars, yeah, they, there's, they're finally finishing the storylines, the, the newest season. Again, we've only got the first two episodes of the newest season, but they have all previous series of the Clone Wars. Okay. Okay. 
I don't know what just happened. Back to Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars Rebels. Yeah, it's fantastic. They've got all the seasons there. Freemaker Adventures. Yep. What's happening? It's... Droid Tales. Okay, we've reached the end. Yeah, Droid Tales. <laughs> and then you got the movies. Uh, the Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, Solo, which I really liked. Rogue One, which I don't see the point of. <laughs> A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, The Force Awakens, and The Last Jedi. We should be getting the last film. It just hasn't dropped there yet. Again, there's loads of content that's coming out that they're, I, I, they're probably holding back. Hopefully they'll bring some some sooner and then they've got shorts so like the clone wars more star wars rebels the resistance strikes you've got darth vader collection again having those kind of subheadings and just in case you wanted to watch a darth vader collection or star wars through the years mm. yeah. and finally national geographic i'm really excited about this i had no idea that national geographic was part of the whole disney package because they bought it Yee, I'm so excited. This one is their flagship title. The World According to Jeff Goldblum. Yes. What's oh. it about, babe? I don't know. What's it about, babe? What's it about? Jeff Goldblum explores the fascinating science and history of deceptively familiar objects. That's <laughs> going to be super fun. Yep. That is going to... Oh, like sneakers. Yep. Where'd they come from? Okay. Um, Cosmos, One Strange Rock, Dr. Paul, the incredible Dr. Paul. Brain Games, Wild Yellowstone, Drain the Oceans, Dr. Oakley, Dr. K's, Exotic Animals. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to scroll through a little bit and you can see what there is because I think it's going to be awesome. Yeah. I love a bit of National Geographic. You go to Movies and Specials. Free Solo is the first one on there and we watch that. That's an incredible story. It is. Um, you know, even if you're not into climbing, this the journey of this person climbing something that's never been climbed before free uh, which basically means no rope um, yeah. so if you fall you die yeah uh, it's an incredible quite adrenaline rush actually watching this so and that's their first movie so it gives you a bit of an idea of what's in their documentary uh, section okay so let's just scroll along so you can have a look yep before the flood the flood uh the titanic that's a really interesting one how dogs got their shapes Looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> World's greatest dogs, Alexander the Great. Yeah, so loads to keep you uh, mentally stimulated yep. <laughs> through all of their amazing titles. Some of them are really quite spectacular and some mm. of these documentaries have taken years to uh, record. Ooh, Diana, in her own words, that's yep. going to be really interesting. Yep. Uh, yeah, very cool uh, and it just keeps going. <laughs> yeah, there's loads. There is loads. They have loads. a big back catalogue. Yeah. And then obviously they have their subheadings, so yeah, vets and pets, science and innovation, animals and nature, exploring our world. That's it. Yep. When you go back to the front, you have your headings there and you can see what they're showcasing at the moment. So Lion King, the live action, uh, you've got Toy Story 4, Clone Wars, the final season, Jeff Goldblum, Lady in the Tramp, The Mandalorian. These are their flagship titles. Um, so if you just kind of want to skip through, we haven't talked about The Simpsons actually. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure. You should search. If there's stuff that you want to see, you should definitely search in it. So I reckon there'll be some titles that they will calculate according to your analytics of what you watch, and then they'll propagate that with, hey, this is what you should watch. The Simpsons is one I know that we're fighting for, for the licensing for. And as Simpsons is coming to an end, you can see here that they've got 30 seasons of The Simpsons. So if you stuck for something to watch, you need something, you don't want to think about it, Simpsons. Yeah. 30 seasons. Wow. This is something you could definitely do yourself, but I thought you might enjoy us going through it and see anything that is standing out to us. See the difference maybe between the American uh, and the UK. You can see that they're kind of segmenting some of the title. They're just releasing it slowly because they want you to stay on their app. They want the money, obviously. It's Disney. They're a billion dollar industry. Oh, gosh. Probably trillion. Um, so, yeah, chat to us in the comments below of what you are most looking forward to, what you're going to go look, what in their Disney catalog are you going to go backwards and have a look at. And is there something in the future, like with the new Marvel series, like the Wonder Vision, those kind of Marvel series that you're looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the Loki one. Um, and yeah. I, I know some of them they're bringing forward really soon, so I think we're getting Wonder this year, which is great. And some of those other titles, like the Disney titles that were coming to the cinema, we may now get on this platform. So it's quite an exciting platform to have. Um, as you can see, there's a huge amount of stuff to watch. You won't be stuck for things to watch, and the original titles are pretty good as well. So yeah, thanks so much for watching this uh, 
outlook of uh, Disney Plus. But most of all, until next time, remember, live, live long, long Tuesday. Tuesday.